Now, the end result for every framework should be a test report, which should be like an interactive test report, right? Because uh, like client will not going to go to your uh, Eclipse and will look at your code and will uh, make sure what all test cases are running or passing or failing. He'll not going to look over here at these results, right? He needs something in an HTML format, a more interactive way, right? A more uh, like uh, something like a non-technical person can also uh, look at it and should be able to understand that how many test cases are passing and how many test cases are failing, right? So test ng generates uh, some reports automatically like once you are done with the test execution you simply need to right click on your project and say refresh and you'll see a test output folder generated if you open this test output folder you'll find a file with the name as index.html this is automatically generated once the test execution is done if you open this file you will see your test report over here See, the, you have executed a functional suit out of which three failed. These were the failed exception. This was skip, and uh, these uh, were the past test, right? So this is your uh, uh, a test report. But I don't find this report very interactive, right? So instead of using this, we can also use a report called as emailable report, which is more interactive, right? which shows that what all tests were executed in login, two tests were executed, validate title, one failed, and what all status, you can see the test execution over here, groups we have uh, not added, right, we commented out, so it is not showing groups, otherwise it will show the group uh, tags as well over here. And then if you go to your failed test, you'll see all the exceptions, see multiple exceptions are added over here, right? All these things you should be able to uh, see inside these reports. And these reports, I mean, you can do customization as well in the report. So customization as in, see, you remember uh, we have added uh, some statements where we were mentioning like uh, what all test case got failed, then uh, pass test or fail test should be printed accordingly. But we are printing it in the console. If I want the same thing to be printed in the report, so anything you may want to add it in a report, maybe uh, along with uh, the failed test case, you want to uh, add a link to the screenshot, right? You have captured a screenshot, you want uh, that to be attached to a report. You can do that thing as well. So how to add things in a report? It is again, very simple. Uh, go to your listener file where you were adding things uh, like where you have written a code for uh, capturing failures or uh, success, right? This is the file. So instead of doing system out print ln, if I say reporter.log, reporter is an internal test ng, org test ng reporter library. It's a reporter class. And whatever message that you're going to give over here, this the same message will be added to your test, to your test report. So if I say a uh, screenshot link, if I save this, and if I run this thing again, test ng XML run as test ng suit. And if I refresh this project, you're going to see screenshot link. With all the test cases, screenshot link will be added. But this is not a link, this is just a message. Now you can do some more modification, right? You can customize this report more. You can convert it into a link. For that, you need to write a simple HTML code. Link starts from anchor tag. Anchor href equal to this. Like, uh, I want to give a screenshot abc.jpg or error.jpg, something like this. This jpg file could be anywhere. I mean, although we'll be capturing it on runtime, but right now I'm just going to hard code it. Let's say inside screenshot folder, we have this error.jpg. I want to attach, attach this one. So I'm gonna say screenshot error.jpg like this. And uh, this should be in double quotes. If you are adding double quotes within double quotes, there is a escape sequence. You need to write something like this to override this escape sequence. All right. 
and then uh, over here we need to close the anchor tag as well so anchor like this right now if I uh, save this and run this again let's see run it as test ng suit and let's refresh it you can see a link is generated over here if you click on this link a screenshot is shown right now you'll see same screenshot everywhere because we have hard coded it but later on once we uh, capture a screenshot on the runtime with every failed test case right right now there are one two three failures so one two three three times you'll see three different test cases attached and you can see when i'm clicking on it it is opening up in the same page right i can open up in a new tab as well in a separate window so just that i need to write some more html code so html code for uh, that would be target equal to underscore blank again escape sequence like this and if i run this again run as test ng suit and refresh it so this time if i click on this link see it opened up in a new tab right so just like you can do as many customization as you want i mean just you need to write the html code for that right the other thing you can uh, even add a thumbnail along with this link what i'll do i'll first first uh, put a break like a new line and then with this link instead of name instead of this text i can give image img src equal to and the path of that image that is this so copy it from here and paste it over here okay at times when you copy it converts single slash into double backslash and double into again it multiplies right so just remove these that's it img okay that's it so that is all that you need to do now you just right click over here say run as test ng suit and if you refresh your report now oh it's a big screenshot showing up over here right i want to make it as a thumbnail so thumbnail uh like we can define the height and width of the screenshot uh to a smaller width so i'll say height equal to 200 width equal to 200 right and if i again run this and now if i refresh it so now it looks more good right so now you click on a link opens up in a new tab if you click on a thumbnail open up in a new tab right this is how you can customize the report you can add a screenshot to the report with all the failed test cases or the past test case if in case you want to do the same thing in the past test case as well you simply need to copy paste this code this code and paste it in on success on test success listener right and the same thing will be added to your past test right but normally we don't do these things in past because otherwise there will be thousands of screenshots that get captured with every test success right but in case you want to uh, get a evidence of all tests are successfully executed you can if you want to capture a screenshot for everything you can do it in this way as well all right so this is about uh, the basic report that test ng generates in the next lecture we're going to see some more interactive reports as well all right thank you